Hey guys, John here. Today's patch in GMS was originally called Frozen Soul, but uh, after I made the patch and I constructed a little tune around it, it sounded nothing like what a Frozen Soul would sound like. Not to say I'm familiar with Frozen Souls, but uh, it kind of took a life of its own and it kind of sounded like a computer dial-up kind of thing, I guess. I have no idea, but I just follow where the wind takes me. So with that being said, this one is now called Dial It Up because of, uh, of, <laughs> of dial-up, so... Oh god, I need to get better with these naming conventions. Anyway, here we go. Alright, so if you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's dive into this thing. So for the most part, this lead is going to be this GMS here. A lot of this other um, kind of this thing here. So that's another patch I made, I, but I felt it kind of fit in with the music stuff and then, you know, the harmer with the uh, typical noise over here. So I thought I'd just mention that just in case. So let's talk about this GMS, what was Frozen Soul. So, okay, we're going to be starting off with our first oscillator, and that's going to be the Saw Retro. I kind of find that one really nice. The Saw is really cool, too, but this one just has some type of characteristic to it. So this Saw right here is going to be zero pitch, zero fine, so kind of just straight out of the box default. Now, we have this Square Retro, which is really cool because I always liked making these patches where you have a Saw Wave and you have a Square Wave, but the Square Wave is going to be 17 semitones above the uh, the root note gives a really cool kind of sound and especially just it's kind of delicate how you mix the two so that's kind of an interesting kind of recipe you can start off from and kind of branch off from there but with that being said oscillator number two is going to be at 0.54 percent in the mix of so 0.04 louder than uh number one and yeah so oscillator three is going to be down we're not going to be using that one uh no noise for this one as well the phase for oscillator two is down. We didn't feel like we needed to change that. We are using some voices here, five total. And this stereo is only 0.73% because this is more so a lead. And once you spread it too wide or too much, you don't want it full on, the full Monty, you know what I'm saying? Like the full thing. It's kind of a little bit more honed in. So on the octave spot here, it's up two octaves, which I kind of generally don't really go that high, but it felt right for this patch for some reason. So like I said, you know, you've got to follow where the road takes you. Just keep driving and you might be surprised where you end up. So with that being said, the detune is at 0.25. Modulation, there's no amount going on right over here. So you can kind of freely skip over this section here. Now for the filter here, the cutoff is going to be a low, or the filter is going to be a low pass. The cutoff at about 0.56, so almost about halfway over there. The resonance is at zero. I don't personally find the resonance sounds good in GMS for some reason. I feel like you lose a lot of information if you play around with it too much. I don't know why that is, but uh, I just that's my uh, findings of that. So for the envelopes here, we're not going to be using any amount here. As you can see, this is down to zero. On the second one, it's down to zero. So we can skip over our envelope section here. For the LFO, we can see this amount is at zero. So we can skip over that. And number two is skipping uh, over that as well. So skip over uh, envelopes and LFOs. Easy, easy, easy. This is nice. So for our attack here is going to be 0.05, decay one, sustain one, and release 0.10. So this output here is down minus 16 because, you know, the more you add stuff, the more you add effects, this whole output can change quite a bit. So that's at minus 16. And one of the staples of this sound is going to be the frequency slide. So this button here is going to be on. So this gliding between notes and that's at 0 0.20. So as we can see over kind of here, we can kind of hear those notes kind of sliding in with each other. <laughs> Especially here, like on this, uh, once this, these two notes slide into this top one here is pretty pretty apparent. So yeah, that's the uh, glide there in a nutshell. Moving on, we have some distortion that is glued. So we, that's the effects that we have glued, which is a weird, weird word, glued, I don't know. It's kind of a sticky situation we get ourselves in, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so moving on from that. So this distortion here is going to be glued. Distortion amount is 0.82. The filter is uh, 0.64, give or take. I really wish they would show the numbers down here. I have to look all the way to the left, so bear with me there. 
We're going to be using a little bit of crush here. We're going to crush this patch. <laughs> 0.68 for the crush and for the filter is going to be 0.85. Now we're going to be using echo, which bothers me because it's called delay, but that's, we'll save that for another day. Feedback is 0.43 and the filter is at 0.19. And that's, like I said, those are glued. So we don't have any modulation here as this amount is at zero. We're kind of just using this for effect, not really as a rhythmic type of thing. <music> Kind of catchy that one, huh? Okay, so let's move on to the post effects that we have over here. So we go over to this thing here and there is really nothing as far on the inserts, but actually, no, I didn't even route that to effects. Maybe it sounded right for the time being. <laughs> It's kind of a really easy patch to make. So like if we're just looking at this pattern right over here, let's go over to patterns, kind of take a look, listen to it. Yeah, so really not too much uh, to talk about for that one. It's pretty self-explanatory. What we maybe can do is while we're here, send it to a little bit of verb here. Kind of make it a little bit bigger and kind of see how that sounds within the mix here. Yeah, the reverb is actually pretty cool for this one. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much this patch. Um, it's not too difficult to make. We're skipping over a lot of stuff. And that's kind of an interesting thing to talk about a little bit. Doing sound design or stuff with synths, like you don't necessarily always have to use every single knob available to you. Sometimes it's it's a, uh, you almost get a better result by doing less in that sense, because nowadays we have so many synths, we have so many knobs, we have so many sliders and graphs and effects and all this, and it can seem kind of overwhelming. But at the end of the day, you really only need what you need. Like you don't need a huge stack of inserts to make something sound right. Like as long as your waveforms are right and maybe a cool melody behind it, the effects after that is really just icing on the cake. It should start off with a good waveforms, make that sound sound okay, and then maybe sneak in some unison, make that sound kind of okay, and then, you know, spread as much as you want it to be spread within reason. And then from there, kind of, okay, play with the filter, what you kind of like. Do you want it to be modulated? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we'll, we'll do some modulation. How do you want the overall envelope to sound? You know, how do you want the contour of the sound to sound? And once you have that part right, then the effects are going to be just easy. It's going to be like, okay, this might need a little bit of delay. This might need a little bit of reverb and whoa, what's uh, maybe some distortion, maybe maybe just a tad bit of that. And at that point, you're almost inspired to write some type of melody, which kind of should just just kind of smooth kind of segue into that. So this patch is easy and most of your patches should be kind of easy. Like you don't necessarily have to make something insanely complex with mod X modulating mod Y, which is modulating this parameter and this like you don't really need to do that. It's cool to know how to do that, but if you find yourself in a situation where you need to do it, it's great that the opportunity is there, but you don't always have to do that. So before I ramble on too long, the last thing I wanted to mention is from these patches going on forwards, I'm going to be saving these in the Fruity Wrapper menu because it's a lot easier to stay organized in that sense. So when I hit this arrow, I always save it here, which is going to be loadable over here because I don't really like the way of loading the patches through this interface right over here. It seems kind of less intuitive than having everything organized in folders and all that stuff over here. So when you save this patch, there's a free download in the video description as always for all my patches. You can download it and then when you want to load this, click this arrow up here and then go to save preset as and that's going to open up a directory where GMS is looking for different presets. Now you can drag the file you download for me into that folder and it will show up over here in your presets. But I do recommend once you open up that folder to make a folder within that folder and rename it maybe stuff you got from me or something like that. That way you can stay organized. That way once you click this preset menu here, it's just gonna have like one folder like I have here with all my patches that I've recently made. So if you download a pack of GMS patches from somewhere else, you can make a folder and put all those patches that you downloaded from somewhere else into that folder. And then you're gonna have, in addition to this one here, you can have that folder that you made. So it's an easy way to kind of navigate and find what you're looking for and you can even go further in that you can make some folders into folders you can have one you know uh i don't know some trance fucking i don't know like i don't know what you might call like 
folders and then in that folder there's bases and then another folder is like sub bases whatever you know what i mean like you can do like a hierarchy of kind of things like that so so with that being said that is basically this patch in a nutshell dial it up let's play a sound with a little computer sounding which is probably going to be ai at one point rewriting all of our songs until eternity so yeah with that being said here is dial it up <music> We're all going to be ones and zeros at some point at the end of the day or the year. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.